Hello everyone and welcome to the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum where so many great events have unfolded over the years and today this crowd is charged up for a big USC Trojans home game. We've got a terrific matchup tonight. Anticipation has been building in this campus all day long as we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Utah State Aggies, taking on the 25th ranked team, the USC Trojans. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Trojans offense comes on the field first today. And here comes the tight end who's having such a great season. Kirk, you talk to opponents and they always use the same phrase, matchup nightmare this guy. Well, what stands out to me with this guy is it's not very often, you're right, the defensive coordinators are most concerned about a tight end. But in this case, that is exactly what we're dealing with. This guy can hurt you in so many different ways. They'll tackle him at the 27. <laughs> Offense getting set. Second down play here. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Tackle right at the 30. Good enough to move the sticks. Boy, a thing of beauty, right, Chris? The USC running back picking up the first down on the ground, and they've had so many great backs, and probably as many as anyone when it comes to counting up individual stars. And we're going back to guys like Charles White and Marcus Allen. Both won the Heisman Trophy. That solid run, good for first down yardage. Caught in the backfield, it's Branch. They bring him down after a short gain there. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Getting set. Here's second down. Handoff running right. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Can they pick up the first on the ground? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense. Is the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. Team gets the returner to the ground. So the Utah State Aggies offense out there for their first possession. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. And the quarterback keeps it here. And the tackle is made after a four yard game, so second and six. Well, if you're going to run the read option, you're going to have to keep your eye on that defensive end. If he collapses down inside to the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself as a quarterback to the outside. Now, if he stays outside, you're going to go ahead and leave it in the running back's belly. In this case, he pulled it and got some good yards himself. From the shotgun, handoff inside. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching the game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. Play action here on first down. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Yeah. 
Second down play coming up for this offense. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. And Sack sets up an important third down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle. It's White. They finally get him, but it's across midfield. Big gain to the 33. They attack the deep middle of this defense, Kirk, come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties, and a big play is the result. Offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. Looking to throw it on first down. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. And the tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. So two big plays in a row. The defense is reeling here. Now it's first and goal. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a design run. And we're able to get him down. You know, the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line. You love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. The offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. Quarterback drops back. He's running out of time here. And just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Boy, Chris, this drive looked outstanding until they got into the red zone. Seems like the wheels have come off. Third down and long makes it very tough to execute in the red zone. Now let's see what they come up with here on this fourth down play. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. Kick is good. It gives the offense three points to show for that drive. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3 0. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it just outside the goal line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And there goes the USC offense back on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? They're going to run it. Breaking free at the 35. Stop right near midfield. It'll be down. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. And the Trojans looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Important 
Jackson's second down play coming up. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking to throw. It's Moss. Tries the right with a quick throw. And he pulls in the catch. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. One of the areas that separates good offensive coordinators from great ones is how efficient their offense is on third down passing plays. And that was a perfect call and really well executed. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And that run produces a decent game. Makes it second and medium. They'll hand it off. Running with purpose. And that's a solid game before the defense able to bring him down. Well, I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. So now it's third and short from the 21 as this defense tries to make a stand and force a field goal attempt or a fourth down stop. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. And the Trojans starting a new series here on first and 10. It's a run. Running back's got it. Football knocked loose in the backfield. Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. Wow, that's just big-time awareness by his teammate to be able to scoop up that ball like it was a ground ball. As a result, the offense retains possession. Offense getting set. It's second down. An inside give now from the shotgun. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. No gain on the play. Third down coming up. Ninth play of the drive coming up. This is a tough third and long. Looking downfield, it's Moss. And it's caught. Touchdown, USC. So they reach the end zone after a marathon march. How about the execution on that drive, Kurt? Well, I know a lot of times people get excited for the big plays. They're fun to watch. But what's impressive to me is an offense that can put together a long drive and then finally cap it off with a touchdown. That way you don't have to always rely on the big plays. That's a great drive. Here comes the point after attempt. The extra point makes it a four point game. Kickoff team is on the field to move this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Utah State's offense back out on the field now. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Backwards on first down, so it's second and long from the 19. They'll give it to the back. Stop short the marker after just a short game. Okay. 
So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Drop him back. Looking to throw for the first down. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. Team now on to kick it away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. On the return is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the USC offense is back out on the field. A beautiful balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? Powering right past the defender. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. Second down after that run on the previous play. Ball handed off. The game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Looking to pass. It's Moss. And it's complete downfield. That's a big game. The offense is threatening that spot. The ball at the 22. Well, it's a good ball here by the quarterback, but I have to back up and look at the route by this tight end. He puts such pressure on this defense and makes it very easy for the quarterback to be able to make an accurate throw because he gets separation. And it's USC in front, Kirk, as we break for the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. USC, seven, Utah State, three. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. And the Trojans have first and ten here. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. And the Trojans looking to cash in in the red zone. Makes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Well, they decide to throw the ball here on third down and short. I really thought the easy thing is just run the quarterback or hand it off, pick up the first down, keep this drive alive, and get six points on the board. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. It'll be a 34-yard try. He knocks this one right through. After the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Looks like the returner will try and field this one. The returner brought down by the coverage team. Here comes the Utah State offense out there. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? The junior able to bring him down quickly. Second down play coming up. Good 
It's a quarterback keeper. Brought down, but broke a tackle. It's a solid game there. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy under center today for this defense, but they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we can see him breaking one any moment against this defense. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And the sophomores got him for a sack. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as a quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. On the return, it's Branch. The returner is brought down. It's a start with the next drive. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. Looking to build on this lead in this possession. Had to settle for three last time out. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. With the catch, it's Robinson. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. They're going to pick up a first down. Nice catch, but even a better throw to show the accuracy and efficiency from that quarterback spot. My gosh, they have so many great quarterbacks over the years that played at USC. Go back to Carson Palmer, the year he won the Heisman. What a brilliant career he had for the men of Troy. Matt Leinart, think back to those Norm Chow offenses and the championships that Matt Leinart won. And, of course, more recently, Caleb Williams for Lincoln Riley, running and throwing and making throws just like that. Looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Over the middle and incomplete. Yeah, I'm surprised he dropped the ball here. This tight end is known for his hands. The ball's put on the money. Somehow it just goes through his arms. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. But the gain is just one yard. He sets up a third and nine now. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. But scanning the field. It's Moss. Catch made, looking for the goal line. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. You know, it's third down as a quarterback. You're sitting there back in the pocket trying to find a matchup that you like. Pretty much everything taken away. I like his thought to get it to the running back because he's a talented, gifted player. But he just could not wiggle free to pick up the first down. And he knocks that one right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Aggies offense is back on the field now. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. the snap quarterback drops back grab down the middle it's Bowman tackle made on the play at the 29 yard line 
Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Well, the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage, and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. First and 10 now for the offense. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. That play is blown up. Defense makes the tackle in the backfield. This is not how you draw it up as a hitter. You got a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. No huddle now for the offense. They're going to run it. Mack gets the carry. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. So it's third and long from the 29. The defense play coverage or blitz. Dropping back, you're going to throw for the first down. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. They bring the punter onto the field now. Bringing you back, it's Branch. Covered seat brings down the return. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Boy, a wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Here's the second down play. He'll hand it off. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. When the flag is out before the snap, the defense may have been a little bit over-eager that time. Encroach, encroach, defense. 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 And a little mistake with the defense. That'll cost him five yards. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Handoff here from the shotgun. And they finally stop him, but a decent gain that time. A gain makes it second and medium. They'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Third down play for this offense. Can he get there on the ground? Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. And the Trojans will bring their punt team on the field now. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And the kick bounces and goes out of bounds down near the goal line. Outstanding work by the punter. Utah State's offense back out on the field now. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Pass is incomplete. The defense affecting the quarterback with pressure there. Chris, we're all guilty of this. We all look at the big plays, the quarterbacks, the offense, how many points, how many yards. And sometimes we overlook the most important aspect of the game, the offensive line got to do a good job consistently protecting the quarterback and it all comes down to the offensive line and here 
They hurry the quarterback, and they blow up the player. And the runner brought down after just a short game. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop. The offense pin back. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Picks up about five yards, but it's not enough. Here comes a fourth down now. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. With the return, it's Branch. Finally forced out of bounds, but a solid return that time. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They had to put the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Looking downfield, it's Moss. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him in the scoring position. You know, you roll the dice here as a defense when you play man-to-man. -man. The thing is, you've got to get pressure on the quarterback. If you don't, he's got time, and now he can look at that defense and figure out where is his best one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he makes a big play there. We've reached the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. And the Trojans come to the line with first and goal. And he'll set up to throw. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Tackled after the completion, down at the one-yard line. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. Second down and goal upcoming. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Southern California. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point makes it a 17-point game. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Davis. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Utah State offense out there. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in intermission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Moving to a bunch formation. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. Quarterback sets up looking for an open man. Hits the running back in the flat. Stuck right there at the line. No game. 
can see what the quarterback's trying to do here, Chris, and he gets the completion, which is no game. There's just no room to go after the catch. Now it's second down here. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Off this one deep to the left side. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but he brings up a fourth down. And here comes the punter onto the field. He's on the boot away now. Running it back, it's Branch. And the return will be brought down. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. They're going to run it here. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Second down coming up. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, there in the shadows of the Hollywood sign, you've been watching quite a drama of your own. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. Either way, it's time to find out Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. The Trojans will kick this away to begin the second half. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And the Aggies offense is back on the field now. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? On the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. The offense will set up on first and ten. Kibbe decides to keep it here. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, old school way is assignment football. You have to account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here. Down multiple scores. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. The running back has it on a screen now. Good job of the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. Be short of the first down mark. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really 
good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down mark. Punt team ready to boot it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Trojans offense is back out on the field. It's a shotgun run call. Breaks loose at the 40. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. It keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off a of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. To throw, it's Moss. They give the running back a touch in the pass game. Catch made over the middle. They bring him down, but a solid game there on first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drive. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive game. Back in motion now. Looking to pass here on second down. Locates the tight end. It's complete. Finds just enough space and makes the first down. Chris, the defense has got to do a better job of wrapping up the tight end there. The coach is preaching to these guys. We need more than one tackler to the ball. They caught a break there. The tight end breaks the first tackle, and they had another man there to bring him down before it could have gotten ugly. And the Trojans lining up here on first and ten. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Caught quickly. Well executed. He finds space and gets the first down yardage. The Trojans looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Looking to throw yet again. Launching one to the end zone. The receiver makes the grab. And they're getting down that time. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. Second down and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. Touchdown, SC! And the route is on. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. Utah State's offense back out on the field now. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. It's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. Complete second down coming up. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. They tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. Well, this is why running ball is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. First down here for this offense. 
They'll run it from the gun. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. Little eye candy here from the offense and pre-snap motion. Out of the shotgun, you'll hand it off. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. The receivers are bunched together. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Looking right, this one caught. And he's tackled, but only out up a first down. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. New set of downs for the offense, first and ten. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. And the defense smothers him for no gain. On the play. Second down. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now on this drive. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Nowhere to run. No corralling for no gain. Boy, the options dried up quickly for the quarterback here. Very, very fortunate he was somehow able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing going with the running game on those two plays. Now it's third down and ten. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Tackle made quickly at the 11, but the offense in the red zone now. Great execution here by this off zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. Coming up the first snap in the red zone on this drive. Quarterback keeps the football. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. But give them credit, they didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he scores! Touchdown, Utah State. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Now the offense will go for a two-point conversion. He'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And he doesn't make it. The defense holds him there. Still a three-score game. The lead at 18. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. 
tackle made after a big game. Hey, great throw here by this USC quarterback, but how about the catch by the wide receiver? And Chris, we've been saying that for decades when it comes to USC and their wide receivers. What incredible history going way back to Len Swan. I know he was a stealer, but it all started when he wore that USC uniform. Keyshawn Johnson had a brilliant career. So did Robert Woods. And how about Amanda St. Brown and the job that he did when he was at SC? That completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And they heave it deep downfield. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. I mean, how about this offense and this execution? That's three plays, three completions, and the blink of an eye. And now it's first and goal. The defense better regroup after that big gainer. It's first and goal just outside the five. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. He's got it right near the end zone. And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Touchdown, Trojans! And the beatdown continues. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. They're set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. There's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Utah State offense out there. Off the play fake on first down. Quick throw to his receiver. And this is dropped. My goodness, he was wide open. Took his eyes off the football. Kristen defense catches a break here. They got behind coverage. Looked like a big play, if not a touchdown. And the receiver just dropped the ball. Second down after that previous play. The back's got it. They'll tackle him at the 27. Offense looking to convert on third and short on the 27. Quick throw caught on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Easy route, easy throw for the quarterback. Good decision here by the offensive coordinator on third and short to just get the ball to the playmaker, make that catch, and pick up the first down. That's an important first down on that running play. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Defense is coming after him. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Now here comes the bunch formation. Second down, we're going to throw it. Short pass, finds the tight end. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. And 
check out how he's been spreading the football around between his targets, getting everybody involved in this game. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Fires it to the wideout. He's got a receiver wide open here. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Looking to throw it again. Fires it to the wideout. He makes the grab. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. A new set of downs after that completion. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Makes the catch. It's Lane. He gains nine, so it's second and one. Offense sets up for play number eight on this drive. The shotgun handoff here. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Well, at this stage of the game, this offense is clearly thinking it's four-down territory. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. The defense backed up against their own end zone. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Aggies! Chris, this is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. And now the try here for the extra point. And there's the point after. The kick is good. That makes the score. USA 34, Utah State. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Set to kick it away. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? The gain is four, so it's second and six. off to the single back and it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain no gain on the play third down coming up offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27 we'll see if the defense brings the blitz they'll run it here the running back has the ball and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. On the play. Now, a fourth down. And the Trojans will bring their punt team onto the field. This will be fair caught at the 30. And the Aggies offense is back on the field now. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Looking for the wide out. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. 
They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. Offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's White. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. Boy, a nice drag route here, and I thought the patience by the quarterback was the key. Puts it in front of his receiver, gives him a chance to make the catch, and picks up a little bonus. Nice yards after the catch. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Offense getting set. Second down play here. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. He'll take a deep shot here. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. It's a deep throw down the right sideline. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Oh, my gosh. They go for the big play, and a drop. Boy, that hurts, and it hurts their momentum. And a chance at a big play. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. This one falls incomplete on fourth down. It's a turnover on downs. Three guys up front, lined up. It's first down. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Here's a wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, USC, to stretch the lead, the route is on. Well, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far, and the more he gets fed, the more often he's going to cash in. Now the important point after attempt. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team on the field getting sent now. Turn starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Utah State's offense back out on the field now. Last possession, they went forward on fourth down, but got stoned. Let's see what they can do this time. Works downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They stop him at the 45, but that's good for a first down.
A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looking to make a play deep downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. He hands it off from the gun. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Well, let's give credit to the offensive line here. They went with a run blitz. The offensive line sees it, picks it up, gives them enough room to pick up some solid yards. The game makes it second and medium. Movement here from the tight end. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Oh, and it's almost picked off. A chance for their first interception today. Going to set up third down. See if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. And the back gets the football. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down, almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is it gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this and picking up that first down. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Fourth down, he's throwing for it. Let's it go quickly. And it falls incomplete. A turnover on down. Big play for this defense. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Breaking free at the 35. We tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. Boy, this back is having some kind of game today. He just continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over 150 yards now, and this defense has no real answers in trying to keep him contained. So one play moves the ball to the 38. It'll be first down. Takes the handoff, and he'll head left. Breaking free at midfield. Out of bounds after another huge chunk on the ground. What a job by this offensive line today. I mean, it seems like every time this guy touches the ball, it's another big game. This poor defense, it's just not been their day at all. What a dominant performance by this offense, on the other hand. The offense really clicking against this embattled defense. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Jukes to get free. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Getting set. Here's second down. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. Good enough for first down yardage. And the Trojans come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Grab down the middle. It's Robinson. Tackle is made at the fourth. And he's first down and goal. You know, they've got a lead here late in the game, and the play calling, I think, shows you how much confidence they have in this quarterback. He's had a pretty clean game today, and this decision to still throw the ball with the lead shows you that they believe he's going to make the right decisions and make the accurate throws. Here's the handoff, one first and goal. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. Second down here, time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. 
And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. Coming up, second down and goal. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Set up now at the two-yard line. Can they score here on a third down play? On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And tackled there by the defense. Chris, what the heck? Might as well go for it here on fourth down. You have such a big lead. What do you have to lose? Let's see the coach and what decision he comes up with. So on fourth down, the decision is to try out the field goal team. No problem. Knocks it right through. And they add to their lead. set to kick off after extending the lead with the field goal. The offense knows they have a long way to go and not much time to get there. And he takes this from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Here comes the Utah State offense out there. This has been a rough game for these guys. Not much left to do but play for pride. Caught over the middle. It's Lane. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. Hey, there's the execution. It's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. It's a quick grab. They stop him out at the 42. That's a solid game getting closer to midfield.